Okay, it is Sunday morning, and it is 10 till 10. Um, we have to leave here at 1030 for church, so now let's say, um, if you're curious, if you're new here, <laughs> my name is Stacy, and uh, I'm in Alabama, and welcome, and hit that red subscribe button, and um, yeah, just glad to have you. This is, hey, hon, this is Curly Girl Method. I have naturally curly hair, and so if any of you are curly girls, you know what plopping means. Um, it's just where you have to condition, 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 and with the Alabama humidity, it will frizz up. I mean, I could bring the 70s Bob Ross Afro back. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, anywho, it's a process. Um... Also, if you're from the South, you know how important SEC football is. We schedule weddings. We schedule funerals. Yeah, I kid you not. If you died during the SEC season, um, you, you will be worked around Alabama or Auburn football game if you live in the state of Alabama. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> the funeral home knows the times of the games. <laughs> so, in all seriousness, <laughs> our wedding was planned around um, Alabama football. Yes, we were married September the 2nd, which was opening season of the SEC. <laughs> we got married at 10 o'clock that morning, and everybody was like, y'all had an early wedding, and my husband was real quick to quip. Do you know what time Alabama football starts? <laughs> so, yeah. Anywho, the state of my house, we have to buzz out of here at 1030 for church. I usually do a plan with me on Sundays. Sunday is like my reset week. I consider Sunday the first day of the week, not the last. So I reset myself, gear myself up for the week ahead. It gives me a chance to just kind of refocus my thoughts on what I should be focused on. Like I said, I usually do my plan with me. I don't have time to do that, but I am going to show y'all um, the state of my house due to the Auburn game being it didn't start till 6.30 last night and I don't know if you saw my Instagram um, if you haven't click on over to Instagram you'll get a kick out of it um, we stream through Roku hey hon hey hon that's hon everybody's hon um, that's Bo that's my Bo Bo Hey guys. I love my Bobo. I love my Miss Tacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Almost we're go we're working on thirty years. We're working on thirty years. We've known each other thirty thirty or thirty one. We've known each other thirty one. We've been married twenty nine. Anywho <laughs> where was I going with this? I had a thought. Hey, <laughs> the Auburn game. It started at 6.30 last night. And we streamed through the Roku. And we have Hulu Live. And so that way we can get ESPN. We paid for the premium package. Just so we could get football. Um, and we, at first we were thinking it was Hulu cutting us off. It wasn't Hulu. It's Roku. I got to call and argue with them folks. The only way we could watch the Auburn game last night was through the laptop and I got the Guinness picture of we had to put my laptop on my office chair let's see if I can we had to put it on my office chair and slide it over to our recliners and the cat was sitting where my coffee potty a coffee cup is and it's like I swear y'all it looked like he was watching the game too so you've got to go over to my Instagram feed. It's Stacy Laundry Mom. And you will see that picture of Bo and the cat very intently <laughs> watching that laptop. <laughs> I mean, we were all huddled around it. <laughs> so, but it was a late game. So I woke up late. Um, like I said, I, I'm just plopping my hair. Did not realize the disaster of my house. 
until I got up this morning. It's like, oh yeah. We had game food last night for supper. Uh, wings, chips, dip, the whole nine yards. And needless to say, in between one game and another game is when I cooked. And we just kind of foraged <laughs> during the course of nothing got clean. So, there's boy. Hey, boy. Alright, so here's the kitchen mess. Hey, on. There's, yeah, there's leftover wing pans, leftover wing pans. Brian did their wings in, what was it, mango, mango harbonara packet. And it burnt Bo's mouth. He could only eat two. Brian ate eight? Yeah, because you made ten. So Brian ate the other eight with nothing to drink. Yeah, it burnt Bo's mouth up. Brian, didn't you eat eight of those wings with nothing to drink? The child ain't right. Uh, the state of the den, it's a mess. So yeah, I've got my work cut out for me when I get home. Um, but yeah, so it will happen today. It will. And everybody's off tomorrow. So, um, but yeah, I've got that all to clean up. Our room is pretty clean. I've made my bed. I just got to run go finish doing my hair. I will do my plan with me when we get back from church. Um, lunch is going to be super, super. Oh, I need to go get my buns out. I got frozen buns. Lunch is going to be super simple. We've got leftover dips. And then I've got this brisket. And then I was going to do those onion rolls. So that is going to be lunch today. He's single, y'all. I'm just saying. Look at him. Ain't he handsome? Take him. Take him. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I do need to do some laundry. I'm going to flip y'all around again. Y'all feel like a, this is for my sweet Alice Marie. Y'all, she's getting so big already. She's almost eight pounds. Bless her heart. She was seven four when she was born. She dropped down to six something. And now she's back up to seven nine. So yeah, so we are just tickled pink, literally. Pink. Um I'll have to see if I could. There's Halloween stuff we still got to get put out. Ugh. But that just kind of weighs down my freezer. Um, there's Halloween crap we got to finish putting out. I still got things in our storage building that I need to get out. Our pantry area over there needs cleaning. This is the arts and craft and household. Like, this is just a hot mess. A hot mess. Um, yard sale stuff. Stuff I need to get to a neighbor. Electrical stuff. All of Carol Bess. Not all of Carol Bess, but a good bit of Carol Bess art stuff. She will not get rid of nothing, y'all. These are some drawings that she is working on. And she will still come in here and get some in color. And she will notice that I moved some. Yes, ma'am. She will notice that they have been moved. I know why she quit doing this one. The puppy right there was Cece. And Cece passed away. So that is why she took this and stuck it down in there. And I'm just going to respect her wishes and hide it down in there. But, yeah, her coloring books. And she'll pull some out and still color in them. Um, she loves anything Hello Kitty. Anything um, Disney Princess. Yeah. Yeah. She's still, I think she's still working on. Oh, yeah. she had, Oh, she's colored some of this one. 
if she's colored all, yeah, she hadn't colored all of them. She'll come back and she'll get it and she'll color in it. So, and one, she has all, she won't get rid of them once she's done. She has another box that she keeps all the ones she's finished in that box. And then I have to go through. I will literally have to, to sneak in and go through and get rid of. In our old house, she had a drawer. She had like a captain's bed. And we thought she had kept her clothes in her drawer under her bed. Plus, she had a dresser. Come to find out, she had called one night to us that she couldn't get one of the drawers open to her bed. And I'm having a whisper because she's got hypersensitive hearing, so she would hear me. Um, she couldn't get it open. And it was where paper had gotten crammed. You remember that? Whenever she was trying to get that drawer open and paper had gotten crammed. It's where she had kept every piece of paper she had probably ever drawn or written on in the drawers. <laughs> Do you remember that? And we had to we had to convince her to leave the room because we didn't want her to know that we were <laughs> throwing them away. <laughs> And she never did ask. I mean, you know, she should have known that we had done something with them because she'd come back in the room and they were gone. But anyhow. Um, oh, also, um, Skeleton Key. Thank you so much. I've got to show y'all this. This is so sweet. Skeleton Key. Thank you so much for my salt, Himalayan salt lamp. I love it. I've got it right next to my chair. And I keep it on, and I keep it on high, and I love it. Um, even the cat hopped up here, and he put his nose on top of it. And y'all, he fell asleep, and he pure fell <laughs> over. And then he curled up around it, I guess because it was warm. He curled up around it and fell asleep. But yes, after it's been on for a while, and it gets warm, it just, I don't know, it has just this very calming effect. It truly does. Um, but yeah, I've got it up here. There's my little flower and garden picture thing I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Michaels. 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 Any hazels. Um, I need my Bible. I need my sermon notebook. That's the only thing I miss about my old planner. It had sermon notes in the planner. So, that's the part I miss. Um, yeah. So, I will do my plan with me when I, I straighten up the pillows. Um, I'll do my thing with her. I'll get back from church after lunch. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with y'all then. Hey, Hines. Okay, it is still Sunday, but it's Sunday evening. Um, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it, hon? 6.45. 6.45. It has been one of those good, nice... Sunday afternoons, we had a wonderful day at church. Um, then I got to go see my my grandbaby and love on her. And uh, now I'm home. And I just like, oh yeah, my plan with me after I woke up from my nap. Um, things have kind of changed a little bit as far as plans go for this week. So I'm glad I didn't do my plan with me earlier this morning things change. <laughs> um, Tuesday is my husband's birthday and we were going to go out for supper for his birthday. And now I found out I am on one of the um, a portion committees, lay members uh, committees on our church board of directors. And so we have a meeting Tuesday night. So all that being said, uh, now my menu has got to change. I've got to move some things around there. Um, because 
we're going to be needing to eat here Tuesday night. And then um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go, because tomorrow's Columbus Day. Everybody has the day off. I think we're going to go somewhere tomorrow during the day. And in a way that would be better than going somewhere um, at night. So, I'm going to do my plan with me. I am loving, I'm going to see if I can figure out, oh, here we go. I'm loving my Erin Condren Horizontal. Like I said, it's my first year being in an Erin Condren. It's also my first year being in a horizontal. I've always been in a vertical. Um, I am missing my in the leafy treetops, though. I miss the extra pages that came with it. I miss the Sunday sermon notes that came with it. Um, I just... Everybody's always Erin Condren, Erin Condren, Erin Condren. And I got this to try to see. And I am missing my In the Leafy Tree Tops. The mothers, you know, to my winners, um, Lorraine and, um, oh, yes. <laughs> to my winners. Oh, yeah, I see y'all. Bats in the belfry, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, she has not had her din din. My husband asking if Miss Foxy needs to be fed, and she does. But I don't know. I'm liking the horizontal. I find that I use it more than the vertical. And the in the leafy treetops does come in a horizontal now. And so I am foreseeing before, and this goes from like June or July of this year to December of next year I am thinking that I'm going to wind up getting me in the leafy tree tops before the end of the year is over for next year if I can if I can hang out with this air and condren at least through December um, I see me getting me uh, mother she know in the leafy tree tops yeah I just, I miss my extra pages. I miss my menu pages. It, it had those, if you've seen my plan with me in the, uh, um, and I'll leave a card up above. I know I've been saying about, I'll leave a card up above. I'll, and I would forget as I was editing. So, now, I write down. <laughs> um, insert link to review. In the leafy tree top. Yeah, I have to make a note. Yeah. And oh, and then they called and canceled. I had my rheumatology appointment tomorrow, and they called this morning, Sunday morning. Yeah, a nurse from the doctor's office called my house. You could tell she was at her house, and she probably didn't like having to do her job on Sunday. But that's neither here nor there of um, changing my appointment and this was one that had been set for like three months and it was like an important one my rheumatologist is one that I've really got to touch base with and he helps with um, like my dry mouth my dry eyes my inflammation my Sjogren's um, yeah and I've had a lot more issues here lately. I mean, I had a good little list going for him. And so, they changed that from Monday to um, Thursday. So, and Thursday's using my gamma day, but luckily I'd already had to change it because I've already got two doctor's appointments. So, all that being said, again, that's why I like doing my appointments on a post-it note for that week. Um, this is the week coming up and as things would happen or come along I would just make a post a note and stick it on that week that way once I got to that week and got ready to plan it it wasn't already etched in stone as they say it would um, you know I'd have it on that little sticker um, like I said this is how last week 
shaped up to look. I used a few stickers. I didn't go too crazy. I am liking my Halloween washi, so I will do that again this week. Um, and I will, this is what this week's looks like. Empty blank. The only thing I have is, um, I am doing the fall food challenge with Moss Family TV. If you have not seen that link, I will leave that also. Um, it is fun. Last week, uh, this past week, she did pumpkin cinnamon sticky buns. Or just pumpkin sticky buns. And I did the ginger snaps with the pumpkin cream cheese. Um, and they were really good. Once they kind of softened up, and we discovered after you open the box of ginger snaps, they do soften up. So everybody really appreciated them once they got softer. Um, but yeah, check that out. We'll do it every Friday. Um, it's a collab, and there's a couple other ladies doing it. So go and check. Um, yeah, it's it's. And if you if you have a YouTube channel. Um, Fallon had made the comment, anybody that wants to join in, just on Friday, upload your video, lay, go over to her channel, let her know that you've uploaded one, link it to her, and then she will put you on the playlist. So yeah, the more the merrier. I'm excited to try um, some of the ones that have come up. So yeah, um, but that's the only thing I have so far written in my planner is I'm going to do my apple crescent bake. Um, yeah, if you saw my grocery haul, you saw that I'd gotten um, crescent rolls, apple pie filling, and Mountain Dew. So yeah, it actually makes a dessert, could you not? It's good, it's good. So I'm gonna get to planning this week and then I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay. I think I got my week figured out. Um, who knows? Who knows? Um, and then my menu plan that I had done. Notice all the scribble scrabble. Yeah. I had to redo it too. So, there's boy. Yeah. <laughs> He's photo bombing. Anywho, alright. Here's what my week has shaped up to look like. Let's see. If we can get y'all situated or me situated all right so monday even though it's Bo's birthday is tuesday i've got that church meeting tuesday night so we're going to do his birthday dinner monday everybody's off work so we decided we're going to go somewhere monday and then there's no art because columbus day so that works out great um wednesday Kerbeth has a doctor's appointment Thursday, I am slammed with doctor at 9, and then at 10.30, and then at 4. So, um, and then Friday, I'll have my gamma treatment instead of Thursday. Saturday night, I know Saturday at some point in time, we're going to have ball games going. Um, like I said before, life goes around SEC football. Um, he's, he's. Uh, Alabama fan, bless his heart. He ain't got no sense. And I'm for Auburn. Evidently, I had no sense because bless their hearts, they lost. But, uh, and then Sunday will be church. And then down here, I've still got, like, for my notes section. So, that's how my week has shaped up so far. I know before the end of the week is over, it will be full. That's how this one was. It got filled up as the week went on. Um, so, yeah. And then my menu changed because we are going tomorrow night instead of Tuesday. Uh, we did do wings and chips and dip Saturday for ball game. We had that brisket that I bought in my Walmart haul with the onion buns. Y'all, that brisket was divine. It was amazing. I am so glad that Walmart screwed up and I did not realize that I'd ordered I'd ordered the uh, Jack Daniels brisket, which is always good. They were out, and so they substituted it with, like, I don't even remember the name brand now. I'll have to go back and look. 
it was like fifteen dollars praise jesus they don't charge you the upcharge because yeah mm. but you want to talk about good oh my goodness it only took 10 minutes to heat it up in the oven and we were eating lunch seriously by the time we changed clothes from church we were eating lunch um it that quick and it was so good i mean the house still smells like brisket it, that good smoky smell yeah it was amazing so we did that today um tomorrow we'll eat out for his birthday tuesday i'd forgotten in my plans that i was going to do that chili pie out of the whiskey in a teacup uh reese's cornbread chili pie doesn't that look good y'all that's what i bought that pound of pork for so we're going to do it tuesday um wednesday we're still going to do poor man taters thursday since i'm not having my treatment i had down pizza or sloppy joes and i just flopped those nights we're going to do the tyson steaks mashed taters and peas even though i've got a late four o'clock appointment um those tyson steaks just you pop them in the oven and i got instant taters it'll be it'll be a quick easy um, Friday night we'll do Sloppy Joe's. So one of the kids can figure that out. And then Saturday and Sunday I'm going to do a double batch of taco soup. Even though it's supposed to be like seriously almost a hundred degrees. Yeah. Welcome to Alabama. Um, yeah. So I'm going to hang this menu plan up here. Hey y'all. Hanging it up on my fridge. <coughs> and uh so that is my plan with me for this week yeah i've never done a plan with me at like almost 7 7 30 at night but like i said it's a good thing it worked out that way because my plans that i would have done would have changed so the good lord knew what he was doing so um i could put that away my desk is a mess i mean like a hot mess God bless this hot mess. I don't know if you can see. You can't see my son. I forget I can do this camera that way. Yeah, God bless this hot mess. Because it is, y'all. It is a hot, a hot, hot, hot mess. But there you go. There you go. It, usually if it's a hot mess, it means you're very productive. <laughs> We're going to go with that theory. <laughs> either productive or crazy yeah yeah see down in the south we don't deny the crazy we we give her a drink and stick her on the front porch yeah um that or ask which side of the family they own and i got it for both sides of mine and our kids are really screwed because <laughs> his family has it too <laughs> So I don't have a chance. But anywho, that's what my week shaping up to look like. It's going to be a busy, hectic week, but they always usually are whenever I think I've got like a... Tuesday will be kind of a... Until that night at church, I've got that meeting and that ain't... That won't be bad. Um, we got to nominate a new lay leader. So that won't be that bad. Um... But until tomorrow, I will see you then. So put on those pearls, put on that smile, and y'all be sweet. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. And if you have come here from um, Moss Family TV, hey and welcome. And it's good to have you. And tell, how's your mom and them? And tell them I said hey. And uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. Who knows what we're going to get into tomorrow. We got to take that man. Hey, hon. Hey. We got to take that man to go eat. That's why he wears suspenders. See, the suspenders, but he also has on a belt. Becca says it's because he don't trust his pants. Hopefully, he'll pick up all you can eat buffet. Last time we did that, though, they finally told us, you've been here two hours. You go. You go. <laughs> Isn't that right, honey? Yeah. <laughs>
So until then, y'all be sweet. <laughs>